All right, guys, I'm gonna show you guys how to mag out your motor, test the insulation, so that you know how to test it with an insulation tester so that you are not just swapping out motors. So this motor is good. This motor is bad. This motor, I tested it. Everything checked out fine. It's not mechanically seized either. Um, maybe at one point moisture got in it and it started tripping breakers. I don't know. I just know that I was told to test these motors here. All of these motors here that was pulled off and see which ones are good because sometimes people just swap out motors without actually testing it to verify that you have a bad motor and they just start swapping parts. So right now I have this motor wired in series. So all of my internal coils should be connected. And I have the three remaining leads, T1, two, and three. And I'm gonna mag each lead to ground. So here I have this red lead that's gonna send out my test voltage to T1. And I have the black lead uh, connected to the ground wire that's gonna be attached to the frame of the motor. So this motor normally operates at low voltage, so I'm gonna twice it at twice the operating voltage, which is 500 volts. As you can see, it is greater than 550 mega ohms, which is a good reading to ground. Do the same for the next. And the last one, all good. So from each of the motor windings to your ground, you want super high resistance reading in the mega ohms. Like 550 mega ohms, that is good. I'm happy with that. And if you would test it at 1,000 volts, you would also get a really good reading. And then I'm also gonna check it from winding to winding. Uh, so from three to one. So that is good. From winding to winding, you do not want a high resistance. Next one, that is also good. No open there. And our last measurement, that is also good. And then here is a bad motor, guys. So I got the black lead to the ground frame of the motor and red lead to one of the windings. And here we're gonna test it at 500 volts. And you can see we have no resistance at all. We have a dead short to ground or to the frame of the motor. Here's the other set of windings and you can see it is also shorted so this motor is shot this is a bad motor this is a good motor it can probably still function motors here i pulled off from this pile of motors over here that are questionable these all magged out good um they're not mechanically binding so i am gonna test run them to see if they are still functional or not so i got this guy over here that's already wired up and we have this cabinet here I know it looks like a fucking shit show over here. I'll probably end up cleaning it up one of these days, but I'm not too busy. Well, anyways, this cabinet is out of service. It's no longer being used once upon a time. It ran that system there, but it's no longer in use. And now we just use the VFDs in here to test run motor or to put the VFDs in and test run the VFDs to make sure that they are still good. So again, there is a lot of parts swapping around here. So as an electrical controls guy, we have to come behind people and just re-verify or test the motor or test parts that um, people pull off the line because they're unsure if it was bad or not. So this motor did pass the make test. Phase to phase is good, phase to ground is good. It is not mechanically binded. So I have it wired up right now to this VFD right here and I am gonna slowly ramp it up and see if it runs or not. So everything is controlled right on this panel of the, of the VFD. And right now this little pot is down to the slowest setting. So I'm gonna slowly add some frequency. And you can see over here that my motor is, is rotating. So right now I am all the way up to 60 hertz. And the motor shaft is spinning freely. There's no bearing noise. It's nice and quiet actually. So 
So we are up to speed and the motor is turning, rotating nice and quietly. I'm just gonna check the amp draw on the BFD. So if we go to escape, we enter the parameter and let's go to 3D003 and press select. And we are now reading the current draw of the motor and we're roughly around 1.59 amps. And at full load amps, we are about 2.2 running at 230 volts so this motor is not bad and i'm just gonna stand by and watch this motor run for about 10 15 minutes see if it stays running good all right y'all it's been about 15 minutes uh, the motor has not acted up or anything we are still running at 60 hertz still putting in 230 volts and we are still drawing roughly about 1.59 1.57 amps at this motor so this motor is still good i'm gonna clean it off make it look prettier and put it back on the shelf until next time deuces